This couldn't have been a smarter design. You made our ears produce wax. <laughs> Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know, folks, I got more shit to talk about regarding this intelligent design that certain people like to call the human body. As you know, I've done other videos about this so-called intelligent design that is anything but intelligent. You want to hear them? Here we go. Let's talk about the asshole for one minute, shall we? What's the deal with that thing? It couldn't be put in a better place. Maybe a place that's easier to get to, so you don't have to be a fucking contortionist to wipe your ass as you get older. Look, the intelligent designer of our bodies knew we were going to have to produce shit every day. So how about making the asshole a little easier to get to and to deal with? Like, I don't know, maybe it should be in the front to begin with? Come on, the whole area is a fucking mess. Oh, and to make the asshole even more stupid, as you get older, let's put some hair all around it so it's, so it's like you're shitting through a fucking shag rug. Especially when you get older. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy to clean. This couldn't have been a smarter design. You made our ears produce wax. Here's a smart design for dealing with assholes and shit. How about make our intestines and assholes produce wax that wraps around the shit and makes it like a baby bell cheese? You know what I mean, those cheeses that are covered in red wax or, uh, or like a ball of mozzarella wrapped up. That way, it just plops out and you pick it up and throw it away. No toilet paper, no sitting down on the toilet, no wiping, no shit finger poking through, nothing. But no, let's clog our ears with wax and turn the asshole into a fucking hairy pudding factory that explodes underneath you every fucking day. Let's talk about stomach acid. First of all, if we all have stomach acid, then why is it harmful to swallow certain things? Oh, be careful. It says harmful if swallowed. Or, uh, oh, don't swallow your chewing gum. Why not? Won't the acid melt it down to nothing? Doesn't the acid kill and burn up everything? It's acid. Won't acid kill poison and anything else you swallow? What kind of acid is this? And why doesn't this acid burn a hole right through our stomach and bones and muscles and skin and, and just leak out like that, that alien thing that killed all those people up in that, in that spaceship? May they rest, God rest their souls. What, what kind of bullshit acid is this? And if you were supposed to have acid in our stomachs, then why do we need to eat antacid? Why is any food bothering us if it's in our special smart acid? How does this acid come back up? where it doesn't belong, so we need to take antacid? What kind of shitty design is this? It's like a faulty O-ring if stomach acid is getting out and coming up our throats. What the fuck? How about lower back pain? The doctor told me, oh, it's because we're all born with a curved spine and good posture. And over time, as we age, we slouch and we don't exercise and we sit with bad posture and, and, and shit like that. And we, we lose the curve in our, in our back, which causes the back pain. How about you should have made the fucking spine out of something that can't lose its curve? How stupid was that? No, let's make disc and fluid sacs and all that shit that bulges and shits and, and, and pops. Make that fucking spine out of something that isn't so fucking fragile and complicated like a slinky. How about eyelashes? How about these fucking things? Seriously, what the fuck do you expect to fall out into your eye once in a while and it hurts like shit and they're hard as fuck to get out? We need filters for the fucking eyelashes? That's what we need? Or women have to put mascara on them so they won't look pretty? Eyelashes are supposed to filter out dust before it gets in our eyes. Yeah, sure, like nose hair. It, it's supposed to act like, like a filter, too. Yeah, imagine having an air filter for your car made of nose hair and eyelashes. Oh, yeah, that'll work just fine. And nails. 
nails and hair or dead skin. Here's an idea. Stop killing the skin and turning it into something that becomes a mess and needs constant attention. Just leave it as skin. I'd rather see a bald man with no fucking fingernails and a hairy fuck with strings of hair hanging out of his nose and fingernails like the Crypt Keeper. Intelligent design should have included making men groom regularly and have good personal hygiene. Hey, look, 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 look. These are, these are just a few more completely idiotic things that humans have to deal with. And we, we shouldn't if we were truly intelligently designed. There's plenty more, plenty more. Stay tuned in the future when I ask the question, why do women have to smell like fish? That's what ticks me off.